It was a big relief on Monday for the editor of Malayalam YouTube news channel, Marunadan Malayali, Shajan Skaria, in a criminal case under the SEST Act over making alleged derogatory remarks against MLA PV Srinijan. Mr. Shajan is often outspoken when he criticizes any irregularity, anomaly, uh, corruption, high-handedness or nepotism in the government or non-government sector for that matter. For this, he has quoted controversies and many a time landed in legal trouble. Many cases have already been filed against him. But the above-mentioned case is the one that has attracted never-before media attention as he was denied anticipatory bail by the trial court and the high court. He went absconding after this and the Kerala police raided his office, confiscated computers and even searched the houses of his employees. However, this police action later drew flack from certain political parties and even the high court. On Monday, the Supreme Court granted Mr. Shajan's career interim protection from arrest. The bench comprising Chief Justice of India D.Y. Chandrachud and Justice P.S. Narasimha ordered. Pending further orders, there shall be a stay on arrest and issued notice on the special leave petition filed by Shajan Skaria challenging the Kerala High Court's dismissal of his appeal against a rejection of anticipatory bail by special court in the matter. The FAR was registered in June on complaint lodged by MLA Srinijan. The court said the matter would be considered after three weeks. Now, let's see what made Shajan Skaria approach the Apex Court. Shajan Skaria had telecast a news item regarding alleged maladministration of sports hostel by Srinijan MLA in his capacity as the chairman, District Sports Council. A special court dismissed Shajan Skaria's application for anticipatory bail on June 16th. On July 1st, the Kerala High Court also refused to grant anticipatory bail, noting that the news item in question contained insults that were intended to humiliate the MLA in public view. Following this, Shajan Skaria moved the Supreme Court. The prosecution's case was that Skaria, in his capacity as the editor and publisher of Marunadan Malayali, had telecast a news item containing false, baseless and defamatory allegations against MLA Srinijan. The special judge for scheduled castes and scheduled tribes, Prevention of Atrocities Act, Honey M. Varghese, found the allegations leveled by Shajan Skaria against MLA Srinijan to be insulting and defamatory. The court found that Skaria had knowledge that the de facto complainant belongs to scheduled caste community and that the publication of the news item containing derogatory comments through his YouTube channel was sufficient to attract the offence alleged under the SEST Prevention of Atrocities Act 1989. The Kerala High Court dismissed his appeal against the same. The single judge bench of justice V.G. Arun observed while passing the order. It is pertinent to note that the allegations leveled against the second respondent, Srinijan, include murder and contains insinuation against his father-in-law, aspirations on unnamed judicial officers and bestows the title Mafia Dawn on the second respondent. As such, it can unhesitatingly be held that the video contains insults which are intended to humiliate the second respondent, that is MLA Srinijan, in public view. It may be noted here that former Chief Justice of India K.G. Balakrishnan is the father-in-law of MLA Srinijan. The High Court also wondered whether journalism has now become defame, denigrate, damnify and destroy. But now let's see the observation made by the Supreme Court in the case and it appears to be more logical and just. The Chief Justice of India said, Shajan Skaria's statements may be defamatory, but these are not offences under the SEST Act. He may have said something against the father-in-law of the complainant, judiciary, etc., which may be in bad taste. Senior Advocate V. Giri, appearing for Srinijan, requested the bench to read the transcript of the video. To this, the CJI said, we have read the transcript and there is no whisper of allegation under SCST Act. 
It is true that the complainant belongs to a scheduled caste. Merely because your client is a member of SC and Mr. Shajan Skaria said something nasty to your client, this has no implications on the caste status at all. Giri, referring to Section 31R of the SCST Act, said, whoever intentionally insults or intimidates a member of SC in public view is an offender. To test the argument, the CJI used a hypothetical example. Suppose a member of scheduled caste has a contract with B. He does not return the money to B. B calls him a cheater. Does that amount to offense under the provision? Giri said that it depends on whether the person had the intention to insult on the basis of caste status and it has to be gathered from the facts. The Chief Justice of India then asked, on the face of the statement, is there anything remotely suggesting that he has humiliated on the ground that the MLA belonged to a scheduled caste? Giri said that Skaria is a repeat offender who has made insulting statements against several persons. The Chief Justice then said, so should we be teaching him a lesson because we don't approve of his statement by sending him to jail? That is very harsh. Giri then underlined that Skaria used severely insulting statements against Sri Nijin, calling him a mafia don, black money dealer, murderer and more. The senior lawyer added that Shajan Skaria in his video identified Srinijin as an MLA of Kunnatunada, which, uh, which is a reserve constituency for SE for years. Then the CJI stated, such comments may be defamatory, but not offenses under SCST Act. We totally agree with you that these statements are in bad taste. We disapprove of his statement, but in criminal law, you have to see the matter strictly because someone's liberty is at stake. After passing the order granting relief, the bench asked Skaria's lawyer, senior advocate Siddharth Luthra, to advise him to be more restrained in his comments as a senior journalist. Please advise your client. Some level of discourse is always needed. Tell him the bench felt so while protecting him. The bench orally cautioned. We went through the matter carefully after seeing the strong order passed by the High Court. The High Court had written such a strong order. So I thought, let me go through the statement. Sometimes stronger the order is. You have to be more careful in looking into it, the CJI stated. The court then proceeded to grant protection to Shajan's career. We, we issue notice. Mr. Ranjit Kumar appears for the state of Kerala. Pending further orders, there shall be a stay on arrest of the petitioner. He is a senior journalist, you see. In criminal law, you have to see matters strictly as somebody's liberty is at stake.